And welcome, rugby fans, to Rugby 411. As always, I'm your host. My name is Joshua Shibata. I've decided to create this video because of especially the interest in my uh, possible expansion destinations for Major League Rugby in the future, uh, which uh, thank you very much for everybody that watched the video. It was one of my most watched videos, and a lot of conversation came up from it. I felt that with this rumor, and it's almost pretty much confirmed news that's come out over the weekend, I thought it would this would strike up some more conversations on the possible name change to the Austin Gill Gronies. Uh, the rumor is the Austin Gill Gronies have been sold. That's right. It has been revealed through certain sources that the Austin franchise, the Austin Gill Gronies, which is one of two franchises that are owned by Adam Gilchrist, a multi-billionaire and owner of the F45 fitness system, which is very equivalent to CrossFit. Uh, there are several franchises in LA and numerous ones in Australia, which is where it was founded. He owns, of course, the reigning and defending LA Guiltinis. You see the theme here, Gilchrist, Guiltinis, Gilbronis. The, the story comes about, and it's it was interesting news to me as well, and it's something that a lot of sports fans and casual fans were mentioning when I just explained to them exactly who the Gilgronis and the Giltinis and what is a Giltini, what is a Gilgroni, and all that. How can one person own two sport franchises in the same league? Uh, it's almost unheard of. It almost seems like a conflict of interest. Well, the story is, is that the Austin franchise, which was originally the Austin Elite, was losing money and on the verge of being shut down. When Adam Gilchrist came about to start a franchise in Major League Rugby, he originally wanted to start the LA Giltinis and only the LA Giltinis, but he was offered the Gilgronis or the Austin franchise as part of the deal with the understanding that Gilchrist will help rejuvenate the, Gil Gro the Austin franchise and then eventually you sell it away to then keep it going on its own and obviously not have that conflict of interest. So that was the birth of the Austin Gil Gronies. And now with the rumor that Austin has been sold once again, there will be a third name change to the Austin franchise. As I mentioned before, they were the Austin Elite at first, now the Austin Gil Gronies. Now, who knows what the name is going to be? Obviously, this news will probably be made public and more into detail once the season has ended, um, just to keep the Austin franchise and the Austin team from being distracted by it, though obviously there is going to be a lot of distractions from it. Though Austin has looked pretty good, especially with the uh, that thumping of the Dallas Jackals, the biggest margin of victory in MLR history. But this is where the conversation comes in. Obviously, a lot of people have criticized both the Giltinis and the Gilbrodis name. What do you feel would be a good name for the Austin franchise? Also, we don't know exactly. I feel obviously the Austin franchise will probably stay in Austin. I don't feel the MLR will want to lose the franchise from Austin. They draw a lot of fans. They've established the the Gilgroni franchise has really done a great job in bringing in more fans. As I mentioned before, they were on the verge of shutting down. Uh, that I don't feel is an issue anymore. They have done quite well. Uh, they were this, the, the stars of a recent documentary that you can watch on the Rugby Network that showed the ins and outs of, of running a rugby franchise in America. It wasn't easy, but you see that they have made great strides in providing that franchise a foothold in the Austin community. So I don't feel the Austin franchise will go anywhere. But again, let's open up the conversation. Where do you feel the Austin franchise should relocate if it needs to be relocated? Uh, should it stay in Texas? There's obviously other areas of Texas that technically don't have a team. San Antonio being one of them. Another great city in Texas that has proven to be a sports city. Uh, or should it go out of state? I mean, of course, we've mentioned before in my pr prior video on future expansion fields, 
there is talk of a franchise in Chicago. There's talk of franchises possibly in Florida, which I feel would be a good one. Vegas, obviously, is another one that I feel would be great. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments section what you feel about this. Uh, a new name for the Austin franchise, new location for the Austin franchise. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this. And it's, uh, it's interesting news. Very, very interesting news. It will be interesting to see who has purchased the new franchise and what the future holds for the Austin Hill Gronies. So, as always, thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys on the pitch.